we are building the LEGO 2020 DC Fandome exclusive Wonder Woman set today. 77906. This set is made up with 255 pieces and three minifigures. This is a limited edition set exclusive to Walmart Lego store and Lego Discovery Center. That means it is only available in the States. There are obviously venues to get hold of this set online if that's something you really want to collect. It is retailed for 40 US dollars. Although it is an exclusive set, the only exclusive part from this set is the 2x4 plate. The rest of the parts in this set, including all the minifigures, can be found in other LEGO sets. This is a DC Fandom exclusive set. So from the packaging, you can see very different to regular LEGO sets. Definitely very, very comic orientated. To be honest, 255 pieces is a very small set. Kind of what you would expect in like a larger brickhead set. So this is a really big box given the size of the set. I think a very nice looking box though. The print on the box is very comic looking. It is apparently based off the Wonder Woman 6 series. So the finished product from this set is really the representation of the scene that's printed on the front cover. If you like my videos, please don't forget to click the like button below and subscribe to my channel. This really helps my video rankings and help my little channel grow. Let's now open the box and see what it looks like inside. So as expected, very, very small set. We've got four bags of bricks, all unnumbered, and three black base plates. Not too much you can see inside the box, just all black inside. And we've got a very small instructions book. I'll build this set now. After that, we can have a look at the details together. The sweet girl part of the video will be presented in stop motion mode as usual. Let's build. This is the completed Lego Wonder Woman set. A very small, almost palm-sized set, as you can see. We've got three wonderful minifigures and a very colorful anime-themed cute scene with a very special exclusive 2x4 plate. Very basic building, didn't take too long at all. It's definitely a collectible item if you are interested in this theme. Anyway, let's now have a look at the details together. This is our completed LEGO 2020 DC Fandom Wonder Woman set. It's quite a small set, a very petite scene. It is the scene we can see on the packaging box with the cloud in the background, the mountain and greens, Cheetah on the cloud, Wonder Woman on the ground and Wonder Woman's friend Ida Candace on the side. At the front, you can see the 2x4 Wonder Woman printed plate, which is what makes this set very exclusive and unique because this is the only exclusive part of this set. You can't see too much of the blue sky background, but there is some effort in the color contrast on the background. From the back, you can see it fairly clearly. We've used three different shades of blue making the background. The mountain built in the corner with a patch of green on the top, exactly how it's presented on the cover and the grass floor. A lot of effort was put into the cloud build. Very anime looking with large pixels. A lot of round and curved pieces used here to make that smooth look. The main feature of this set are the three minifigures. Although they're not exclusive to this particular set, I think they are all very cool minifigures, especially Wonder Woman and Cheetah. Let's have a look at Wonder Woman first. We've got printed pattern on the legs, printed boots patterns at the front, not so much at the back, but we can see the two contrasting colors on the legs. Printed Wonder Woman suit on the torso, the Wonder Woman hairpiece with 
the printed hairband. It is a two-faced minifigure. We've got the main face and the alternate angry face. If we take off the skirt piece, you can also see the printed shorts on the leg part of our minifigure. Metallic silver bands on the wrist of Wonder Woman. The next minifigure we will look at is Cheetah. We've got print all the way around the torso and legs, not on the back of the legs, and also print a pattern on the rubber tail of Cheetah. Under the helmet is also a two-faced minifigure with our main expression and alternate angry expression. The last minifigure is Wonder Woman's friend, Eater Candy. Not sure if this is a perfect representation of the character. It is a fairly generic minifigure comparing to the other two. The way it's structured doesn't make it super recognizable. It is a short-legged version minifigure, also a two-faced minifigure with our main expression and alternative expression on the back. Overall, is this something worth collecting? I think if you're an anime fan, of course. If you're not, it's pretty expensive for what it is. It is a cute little scene with mainly the cool minifigures.